Hey guys, this is Khadeen and you are watching Grow with Khadeen. In this video, you will learn how to create a beautiful, responsive and mobile friendly WordPress website using Elementor, which is a consultancy firm website. If you are a financial consultant, if you are any type of consultant or if you own a business or an agency, you must watch this full video till the end and you will learn how you can create a beautiful website like that don't worry if you have any other business because if you will watch this full video same is the procedure you can create any other type of business website like you want to create a salon website you want to create a lawyer website or you want to create any other portfolio website you can just learn in this video that how you can create a business website okay so let's just discuss about this website what this website contains and what you will get uh, after this tutorial this is the website you can see here is a services page with the and case studies page portfolio page and in pages section you can see about page contact page team members our clients testimonials pricing facts coming soon 404 and also a blog and a book with a book now button and if we will go below you can see here is uh, of the website here and then it's a uh, free consultation if anyone wants to get free consultation you can just build a form and one thing to tell you that this website is absolutely without coding and you will just create this complete website without coding and then you have a stat section where you have uh, told about you uh, some things about you and then you have a company section here and uh, you can add up about uh, book and appointment button here also and then it's case studies section and you can link to the case studies page and then it's book appointment section and uh, after that it's uh, why choose us about us section and below is testimonial section and below is the footer you can see this is the website and if i'll just go through these pages then it would take a lot of time so i'll just skip this part and i'll just move on to the website and we'll show you that how you can create this website before just starting the video make sure you have subscribed to youtube channel clicked on bell icon liked the video and commented on this video and watch this full video till the end why watch this full video till the end because if you will watch this full video till the end you will get 300 dollars worth website tools just for free if you want a successful website if you want to if you are a web designer or if you want a successful website for your business that converts that get visitors that get leads uh, so you need these $300 worth tools and you have must have to spend these $300 on these tools But if you will watch this full video till the end I have bought these uh, tools for unlimited and you can get these tools if you will watch this full video till the end So let's just get started and get right into the tutorial But wait before just starting the video I just want to tell you that before st start to creating a website or before creating a website there are two things that are must for creating a website first one is the domain name of the website and second one is hosting uh, there are most of the people know about domain name and hosting if someone don't know about domain name and hosting let me just tell you if you go to facebook if you want to go to facebook you want to go to google you want to uh, go to youtube you type in their names like youtube.com google.com facebook.com so you also need uh, if someone wants to go to your website he uh, he also needs to know about the name of your website and that's the name you just have to buy that uh, domain name and this is called that name is called domain name and i'll just tell you that how you can get that domain name just for free the second thing is hosting now what the hosting is you can see uh, if i am browsing this website this website has pictures text and other um, stuff etc if you go to youtube youtube have, has videos so that data is stored to a powerful and uh, speedy computer that is 24 uh, 7 connected to internet and you also need uh, that type of computer so there are uh, several companies providing those computers and domain names but i would recommend you hostgator.com why hostgator.com first of all you will get free domain name the second thing that uh, you will get 64 percent off because i am their partner affiliate partner and you will get 60 oh sorry i just paused the video so you will get 64 percent discount if you will use my promo code so that's those are the benefits you will get with hostgator and the other things that its support team is awesome you don't have to hire anyone to create the website you can do it all by yourself their team will maintain your website and you can save about monthly 100 to 200 dollars because uh, developers cost about monthly 100 to 200 dollars uh, per month for the maintenance and you can also save your migration and all that stuff 
and also you can save your domain name uh, uh, money and also if you have any error uh, you have to hire a person with about $30 for dollars per hour and the host creator team do it all for for you just for free now you might be thinking that it may be start it, uh, it should be starting from about uh, 10 to 20 dollars per month because other hosting uh, with these services are starting from there but this hosting is starting from 2.75 dollars per month can you believe with unlimited bandwidth so unlimited data can be transferred with this hosting so that's the beauty of hostgator that that's why i recommend you hostgator.com now they have they have three plans hatchling plan baby plan business plan because we are creating a, a, a business website so we will not go to uh, uh, like uh, other uh, managed hosting services we'll just go uh, with that plan baby plan because you might be uh, you might need <clears throat> to create a website again and uh, with this plan you can only create one website like you can create a website with only one domain name but if you will buy this one if you have one of that is uh, uh, now khadeen consultancy.com i have created one website with that now i have started a new business like khadeen uh, pizza home so i'll just name it khadeen pizza home.com so i can also host that say uh, that website on the same hosting so i don't have to pay extra money for that so that's why I would recommend you to go with this baby plan or this business plan. Now, what's the difference between baby and business plan? They have free SEO tools, uh, free dedicated IP. If you have any, uh, you, you are willing to create an e-commerce store or uh, some uh, complex stuff, you can go with business plan, but uh, baby plan is also enough. So what you are getting with that unlimited websites, one click WordPress install and uh, free WordPress cPanel website transfer and unprinted bandwidth and free domain name. Okay. And one thing also that you will get a speedy, uh, you will get awesome speed. If you will go to my YouTube channel, you will uh, get my uh, WordPress speed optimization tutorial to optimize your WordPress speed. And uh, in that tutorial, I have told you that how HostGator can get uh, help you to speed up your WordPress website just for free or otherwise you will have to pay about eight to nine dollars per month to get a speedy server. Okay extra so i'll just go to click on uh, buy now and after clicking on buy now what will happen is uh, you will be redirected to the next page uh, coupon is all, already applied to my uh, this one of my uh, website so here you just have to select a domain name now if you will select apple.com i will just select it and i'll hit enter And now you can see uh, that domain name is, I don't know how that domain name is available. So uh, that domain name is available and you just have to select that and you just have to go below. And uh, here you just have to uh, enter the billing cycle here and uh, I'll just select it for 36 months. Uh, now why 36 months? Uh, because if you will uh, buy it for 30, uh, 36 months, means three years, you will get it at only $3.50 per month. But if you will select it for one year, you will get the same thing at um, $5 per month. So I would recommend you to go with three years because you just, you have a business, you have a long term business, so you'd want it for long term. So why not save money? Okay. So again, uh, after that, enter email address and uh, enter your email address. And after that, uh, info and all that information, then first name, second name, and after that, you just have to uh, uh, create a PIN, four-digit PIN. And after that, what you have to do is you just have to add uh, pay them now with credit card, debit card, or maybe with PayPal. Uh, so you can go with any one of that payment method. Now I'll not go with that one. And uh, after that, you just here uh, if Snappy is added here, uh, that's great. Uh, but if you want more discount, you can just add Khadim 64 and click on validate and you will get awesome discount for you because this is a special coupon code I just created for you only. So you are getting three to $32, dollars $32 discount. So you can see how much discount you are getting. And uh, after that, you just have to check it and click on checkout right now. Now I will not buy this domain name and all that stuff. You just have to uh, click on checkout right now and uh, after checking out uh, your domain uh, you have bought the hosting or everything will be when everything will be done and you just have to select the wordpress and after wordpress is installed you will be redirected to this type of page now this is the admin panel of wordpress and here we'll create the whole website
so now at wordpress uh, we'll do some basic uh, settings first and then we'll just go to other settings so first of all what you have to do is just have to go to posts go to all posts and clear everything first of all we'll just have to clear all the wordpress okay so first of all we'll just go to all the posts and i'll just uh, select that checkbox in bulk actions i'll just select move to trash and i'll just click on apply and after clicking on apply this will be moved to trash i i'll just go to pages go to all pages and i'll just select everything and click on move to trash and click apply okay so this is related now i'll just go to plugins click on install plugins i'll just select everything i'll just click on deactivate click on apply when everything is deactivated i'll just again select it and i'll just click on delete and click on apply and click okay now that you can see all the plugins are also deleted now what we have to do is you just have to go to settings and go to general and here you can just change the name of the website and all that stuff site title tagline and also um, uh, here you can see here you can select the time zone and all that stuff and in other sections you can also change other stuff but this is basic stuff and i think this is not required so i will just move on to installing the word now that we are done with the all the word basic wordpress settings now what we'll do is we'll just have to install the wordpress theme now how to install the wordpress theme we'll just go to appearance click on themes and after going to themes what we'll do is we'll just go click on add new and we are just using a free theme in this tutorial so here you just have to uh, select hello elementor oh sorry for that element hello elementor okay so i'll just search for hello elementor and i'll just install the first one after this is installed i'll just click on activate now right now how our website is looking you can see right now this is how our website is looking and after uh, installing element uh, hello elementor that's how our website is looking now it is more horrible but how we have to create move on to next step now now we'll need to install the required plugins we'll just go to plugins and click on add new and we'll just go to plugins repository and we are using all the free plugins here and uh, premium plugins are what you will get after watching this video uh, for free so uh, first of all we'll just need to install elementor which i just deleted recently for just uh, clearing out uh, it, everything to you so you just have to search for elementor and after searching for elementor uh, you will get that elementor page builder plugin and you just have to install this elementor website builder i think the name is changed. no uh, name is not changed okay so after that you just have to uh, search for uh, invato elements you just have to search for invato elements these are the two plugins you just in have to initially install and now these plugins are installed now you just have to go to install plugins just have to select all the plugins go to bulk actions click on activate and click apply and the both of the plugins are activated now so you can see all uh, the both of the plugins are activated right now now is the time to create the required pages now we'll not just waste time in creating pages because it take a lot of time so i have just created a pages file you can just go to description below and uh, you can just click on the link and you will be redirected to this page and you just have to download uh, this uh, this uh, file uh, it's at webifiedhub.com slash etk pages in description the link is available and after doing that what you have to do is just have to go to uh, tools and here you just have to click on import and after clicking on import you just have to click on install now at wordpress section and click on run importer and after clicking on run importer what you have to do is just have to click on choose file and you just have to select the uh, file you just want to import you just download it so which is the file which is the file which is the file etk pages so here's the file i'll just select it and click on upload and import this is not a heavy file this is about uh, less than a, K a mb so i'll just select a user here 
uh, click on download and import attachments and click on submit and you can see uh, all done i'll just go to pages section and click on all pages here and now you can see we have all the required pages right now now uh, which pages are required to, for creating an awesome website first one is home page contact page privacy policy page services page uh, blog page appointment page uh, about page and portfolio page i think portfolio page is not available there so we'll just create that okay so uh, how you can just uh, we can just also change like we don't need that our team page okay so i'll just change it to uh, let me just show you i just uh, skip the steps so i'll just click on quick edit i'll just change the name here portfolio page and here I'll just name it portfolio okay and I'll just click on update now we have created a portfolio page also and how you can create a page by yourself individually let me just tell you you just have to click on add new this is what I am telling uh, if you just want to create an additional page so how you can create that one also because that is also required to create a website so uh, I just um, saved your time for creating all the pages so I will just uh, click on it and uh, what a page we need right now so needed page okay so this is uh, the page required now what you have to do is just have to look, go to template and uh, select elementor full weight and uh, leave it everything leave everything like that click on publish click on publish and click edit with elementor and when you will see that white page you just have to go back okay so right now our page is created i'll just uh, refresh it and now you can see the needed page is available here okay so here you can see so we have created the required pages now what we'll do we'll just go to next now that we have created all the pages now we'll need to buy a template kit uh, which template kit let me just tell you now this is the website and it might create and take about a week to create this type of website so we are using a template kit to create that uh, type of website now which is the template kit uh, it's a primitive template kit and to get discounts what you can do is you can just go to webifiedhub.com slash primitive okay so i'll just go to webifiedhub.com slash primitive so here I just entered the URL of webifiedapp.com slash primitive. So this is only $23 uh, worth uh, this website, uh, sorry, this template kit. And this is an Elementor template kit. And this is the cheapest and best template kit I just uh, found on Theme Forest. Other template kits are uh, about, uh, uh, the other themes and templates are about uh, like uh, between uh, $50 to $150. So these are quite, uh, expensive and similar to that one okay so i would recommend you to go with this one uh, and as i just told you how you can they make a salon type of website uh, you can just go to the link in description and you can just search out any uh, type of template kit you want and the other process is same okay so i'll just go below and i'll just click on add to cart and i'll just go to uh, checkout and you just have to enter your name first name and uh, your id i have already created an id there i don't know now what's the password so i as i am just giving you the demo so here you just have to enter your email address kadeen akbar online and gmail.com and uh, you just have to uh, oh I have just created this uh, site okay so you just have to click on next you just have to enter the information and as uh, uh, similar to signing up with Google or Facebook or Twitter you just have or Amazon you just have to sign up uh, add billing details select payment method and you just have to buy this one and you uh, a file will be available to you you just have to download that file and after downloading that primitive file what you have to do I'll just tell you in next step now that you have bought and downloaded that template kit now what you have to do is you just have to go to elements and go to install kits okay so after going to install kits what you have to do is you just have to uh, go to upload template kit zip file and just have to select that file here 
uh, here in primitive business finance elementary template kit and you just have to install it uh, sorry upload it and now you can see that uh, the template kit is imported and all the pages are imported right now and now what you have to do is just have to click on install requirements and you just have to click on uh, uh, install above selected requirements and you just have to wait for a few uh, uh, seconds and you just have to uh, uh, wait for uh, this uh, like uh, these the requirements to be completed now all the requirements are completed and elementor pro is required and you will get it after watching this video so i'll just skip the video and i'll just upload it but after watching this video you will get elementor pro just for now you can see the plugin is installed uh, and you can see this is elementor pro.zip and you will get also this elementor pro which is about 149 dollars and you will just get it for free uh, and uh, you just have to click on uh, activate plugin i think it's 99 dollars for you okay so you will just get it for free and now elementor pro is also installed here right now and you don't have now uh, uh, any uh, requirement right now and you have done everything and you have done it with everything and we'll just now move on to the next now that we have done with everything first of all let me just tell you that if you were just want to create any other website like you just want to create a uh, uh, like any other type of website like you want to create a beauty salon website or other type of website or you just want to uh, get video templates uh, you just want to create videos music sound effects and logos etc you can just uh, get all that all that theme forest stuff just for 19 dollars 16 dollars per month maybe so if i just search for here and you can just see uh, here are a lot of stuff here and in uh, there is web templates also and uh, in cms templates you have a, a lot of templates and 3d files and a lot of other stuff now how much in how much you are getting these are 6.5 million uh, uh, digital assets you are just getting at 16.50 dollars per month so you can see at only sixteen point fifty dollars, you are getting all that stuff just for free. All that stuff, okay? Uh, so uh, you can also subscribe to that if you just want to get more, uh, like more templates. You just want to get more web templates, video templates. Now, how to get it with discount? You can just go to webifydab.com slash in what two elements, or you can just go to link in description below. Okay? So now we'll just move on back to video. So now here you can see that's our how our website is looking right now. Now uh, here is the menu we have and here is the menu we will get uh, after this video. So you can see it is the header and it will go below. Uh, let's just go below and I'll just show you the footer. So that's how our footer will look like. So first of all we'll uh, just work on header and footer then we'll just work on that inner stuff. Okay. So let's just come back and now we'll just go to um, templates here in templates and we'll just go to add new and after clicking on add new i'll just add a uh, uh, add it as header and i'll just add the text uh, main header and click on create template so after clicking on that um it would be loaded Hope it to load soon and uh, now you can see um, this is loaded right now so I'll just cross it and I'll just select this green icon and we'll just look out for header I just click on that view install kits and now we just have to see for header here First of all, install these global style kits. And after that, just go there. And again, go to primitive. And now you just have to look for header. There are a lot of templates to finding header is not uh, too much easy. But maybe uh, it is easy. Uh, let's just see. I couldn't find again. So I'll just look for it. Um, here, no, couldn't find that. Couldn't find that. I 
I just again see for it, look for it. So it's not, oh, that's, here is, here is the header, here I found the header. So I'll just click on import header and I'll just zoom in. And now you can see the header is being imported. Oh, sorry for that. Now you can see the header is getting imported and uh, here you can see our header is imported. So for right now you can see that one thing, these things here. Now what we'll do is, we, what we'll do is uh, we'll just uh, just make it smaller and now we'll just change the logo. Now how you you can change the logo? Uh, just go there and uh, I'll just delete it and I'll just add an image here. Okay, so after that click on choose an image and upload your company's logo or your website logo or any that, uh, type of stuff here if you have uh, the logo here. So I'll just look out for the logo if I have. I think I just don't have the logo. I'll just seek out if I could find the logo. Um, so I don't have the logo. I just paused the video and now you can see here I have a logo here. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, uh, click on that logo and I'll just click on open here and my logo file will be uploaded. And now as you can see my logo file is uploaded and I'll just click on insert media. And now my logo is uploaded here in my website and here uh, you can see uh, my logo is appearing here and these are the menus I have and this is the book now button now how to edit the few stuff now first of all we'll just edit the number you just have to click on the number and you can just edit the phone number and just click on that one and you can just change the email from here and after doing that uh, here you can see you can just change the naming or uh, the names oh sorry uh, there's uh, dates here now the opening time and dates here and from here you can change opening time and dates now after changing the dates now we change the logo and now I'll just change the link to book now button now how you can change that one so I'll want to just connect it to that contact page so what I'll do is I'll just go there and I'll just uh, go to these dynamic tags and internal URL and after doing that I'll just click there I'll just go to type and click on content and here I'll just type in contact and here I'll just select contact okay so now the book now is linked with that contact page and uh, you can see it's a lot messed up and uh, you can also change the color of that uh, uh, that uh, like uh, menu and all that stuff now how do you can change the colors from there in styles you can just change the colors and all that type of stuff etc if you just want to change that uh, color of uh, the uh, you just want to color, uh, change the color of the menu you can just change it and if you just want to uh, change the font etc you can also change that now if I want uh, that for I just want ASAP for that so I'll just change it and I can change it if I just want to uh, decrease the font size I can also do that and I can also do a lot of stuff with that so after doing that you can just click on publish now uh, and after that you just have to add a condition and click on uh, save and close now I'll just uh, from menu I'll just remove some extra pages I'll just go to menus because it's a lot uh, getting a lot a lot messed up so I'll just go there and I'll just remove all extra pages I'll just remove that one remove that one and I'll also remove that appointment page okay so now we have only necessary pages and I'll cl click on save menu and now our header is created and now we'll see how our website is looking right now I'll just update it I'll just reload it and now you can see how our website uh, header is looking right now and here at the top you can see and if we'll just compare it to uh, that website uh, 
that we just created it's similar to that one okay now we just have to create a footer now to create the footer what we have to do is just we just go to uh, have to repeat the process we just have to go to templates click on add new after clicking on add new we just have to select uh, the template type i'll just select footer here and i'll just name it uh, main footer and i'll just click on create template and after that what i'll do is now it's loading and we'll just repeat the process as we did uh, before okay so here we have um, element is not loading I, I don't know why okay so we have there and uh, now i'll just cross it and uh, i'll just go to this green icon and after going to green icon i'll just go to view installed kit and here i'll just seek out for the footer okay so i'll see where is the footer if i could find the footer here so here is the footer i'll just click on insert template and it's getting imported and after some time the template would be imported now the uh, footer is also imported and the same is the process you have to do right now you can just change uh, the data from here you can just change the logo from here you can add uh, the logo of your one and i'll just do it so you can just change the uh, add the logo of yours you can just add your information by repeating the process as we did in header and we can just change the form uh, from here and uh, we can just change the name email etc and actions etc click on publish click on add condition and click on save and close okay this is the process we just have to do and uh, now you can see our uh, for header and footer are created and now i'll see uh, how our website is looking right now and how this one is so this is the header and this is the header you can see these both of these are same and if we go to footer this is the footer here and this is the footer here uh, can you see any uh, changes uh, okay so uh, we oh uh, we just didn't change the logo is not changed yet so i'll just reload it i think it's a cache issue and the logo will be changed after some time okay so um, after uh, now what we have to do is we just have to change the inner part of the website now how to change that uh, that part now we'll just go back to our website i'll just skip all that stuff and i'll just go to our website here right now i'll just go to main page now you can see uh, we are at our website but we are at archives page we are not at home page now we just have to switch a few things first we'll just have to go to dashboard and after going to dashboard we just have to make some changes to our wordpress now we can make these changes we just have to go to um, uh, settings and we just have to go to reading and here we just have to select static page post select home for that and select blog for that and click on save changes and after that's done now it's all simple now almost your complete website is created now you just have to import your page templates and your website is done no nothing else okay so now we are at home page you just have to click on edit with elementor and i'll just click on edit with elementor so um, after doing that you will be again uh, uh, redirected to that elementor page builder and you just have to repeat the process now how to repeat the process let me just tell you i will just uh, now fast forward the things i'll just not make it me messed up and if you just want to learn more about elementor what you can do is you can just go to i'll just open up new tab you can just go to youtube.com and you can just search out for elementor tutorial here okay you can just click there and you can just uh, check out for elementor tutorial okay 
so when you will search out for elementor tutorial it's 11 min tutorial and you will learn about elementor that how to use elementor because if you will learn elementor you can create any type of business website using elementor okay so now we are at there and again you just have to click on that green button the green icon and you just have to select your template kit and after selecting your template kit you just have to select the home page you want for your website there are two home pages and select the one of your choice and i'll just select this one oh sorry so here we are now here is the home page and you can see the home page is imported and uh, here you can see we have the similar website uh, that we just wanted that we just saw and here you can see we just have to change the pictures and change the text and everything is done now how, you can just change this one uh, this picture here now how to change this one you just have to click on the picture click on edit column and just go to style and here from here you can just uh, change the picture of your choice and if you want to change the text you just have to change on uh, click on any text and you can just change the text and if you want to change their styles and colors you can just go there and you can just change the styles etc and i just told you about uh, the elementor tutorial you can just go uh, to youtube and uh, select for that okay so click on just uh, book an appointment you can just change uh, the link I as i just told you that how you can link to contact us page you can just uh, click on contact us page as, uh, or i uh, we have also a appointments page so you can also redirect it to that page okay next one uh, you can just add uh, you can just change the uh, the text here you can also change the text here and you can just change these pictures here with the same process and after that you can just again change that things and uh, this is new stuff so you just have to click on that and here you can see uh, on each title you just have to click on choose image and you can just uh, add an image and if you want to enable hover on logo or uh, enable link on logo you can do all you can also do that and if you want to add any new image you can also add a new image from there add item okay and uh, here you can see is the case studies page the same is the process to change the text etc and all that stuff and here you can change the pictures also from here and uh, these are the case studies you can change the link to case studies and you can just change the view uh, view all case studies to link uh, view all case studies button to case studies page and here you can see a book and appointment page if you want to change the log uh, the icons you can just change the icons from here in content section from content section you can just change the background image and uh, text etc because this is a business website nothing is too much complex and uh, if you want to change the background color you can also do that you just have to click on edit section and go to just styles and you can just change the color from here or and also go to background overlay and you can just change the overlay color like i just want whiter one or i just want bluer one or i'll just, this is one is pretty good here you can just change the testimonials and uh, this one is for testimonial section and testimonials are available here in uh, the wordpress section from where we you can add all that stuff and again the same page okay so we'll just click on update and our page will be updated and you just have to repeat the process with all the pages every page is with the similar structure and you don't have to do anything to create the website you just have to uh, replace the text you just have to copy and paste the stuff uh, you just have to uh, find and replace the stuff and that's all about creating the website and you are a web developer okay that that that's how much uh, the elementor and wordpress has made easy now you can see what's the difference between the website we created and the website uh, we had there okay so this is the website we had uh, sorry template and this is the website we created now i created this website within a matter of about 10 to 15 minutes now go to about section repeat the process as i just did how just go to edit with elementor and after clicking on edit with elementor just go again and this one search for about page here is the about page 
click on insert and your data will be imported and you can just change with similar uh, like similar process now uh, you just have to go to again uh, to contact page portfolio page services page and you just have to repeat the process and your whole website will be created now we'll refresh our website and uh, you can see our website is created right now now how to add the testimonials etc because now i will not tell you that how you can uh, repeat the process because with portfolio section same blocks are available and you just have to do the same stuff so i'll not just go in deeper into that that how you can do each and everything and i'll just not waste your time because your time is also precious for you and i'll just go back and here you can see here uh, you can just uh, from this section you can add the testimonials if you want now you have a ha happy uh, add-ons here and uh, also comment section here and element section here and from here you can just add the testimonials to your website or you can just directly add from there okay uh, you can also uh, directly add from there now you can see it might take some time so i just don't want to uh, waste your time and uh, other stuff so now i'll just tell you that how you can get 300 dollars worth tools but before that i just want to confirm you that you can see here is the about section about section is imported you just have to repeat the process you just have to click on the image uh, change the image click on text change that text and with all the sections you uh, all the processes are repeated you don't have to do anything different from uh, any uh, of the uh, section and uh, this is the testimonial section and uh, here you can see everything is available here in testimonial you can just add the testimonials and uh, here you can see a, a icon library I, I just forgot that I, I was I was uh, uh, wrong you can just add the testimonials from here because the template it I just got before that one was that uh, uh, you just have to add from wordpress dashboard but you can just add it from there so that's a lot easy so how to get these 300 dollars worth tools i'll just first of all update it now what you have to do is you just have to go to uh, a link below in description i have just given the link uh, that link in description given that link in description forms or really okay so that's the link you have to go uh, on which you have to go and you just have to fill up this form and you will get these $300 worth tools for free with this Elementor Pro Okay, so this is uh, this is outer one. Uh, this is not included in these $300 So if we'll uh, calculate that so it might be $399. So uh, The Elementor is out of that. Okay, so I'm also gifting you Elementor Pro uh, In email section you just have to enter your email address name uh, and after that you just have to uh, uh, do two tasks First of all, you just have to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video and comment. And second thing, you have to just buy a hosting from my link or buy a WordPress theme or template from my link that I, I have given you. And you just have to send me a screenshot that you bought from my link. And uh, how you can send that, I'll just tell you. But keep in mind that you just have to perform at least two actions. And uh, after you will perform two actions, then you can submit. Now click on add file and send me the screenshots or any proofs if you have. And these are the must. And after that, just give me the Instagram and WhatsApp uh, over which I'll just give you access to these tools. And within 24 hours, I'll just give you the access to these tools. And then just click on submit button and your uh, form will be submitted and you will get access to these tools within 24 hours. That's all about the video. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, see you in next video and enjoy these tools. Enjoy the tutorial. Goodbye.